Welcome back to Whacked Out Videos. A full half hour of wild wipeouts and worst case scenarios wrapped up in one loud, messy, growling little package. If it goes crash, boom, pow, biff, bang, or crunch, you'll see it right here. Whacked Out Videos! Woo! All right, culture lovers, time once again for Whacked Out Videos Brain Dead Theater. Quiz. What's hurt more people in the last 10 years? A. Lightning. B. Sharks. Or C. Vending machines. The answer, surprisingly enough, is this thing. Check out our man Mike. Unless you're squeamish, then look away. Ouch! You got your skull on my pavement! You got your pavement on my skull! Hey! That doesn't taste good at all. That'll knock some sense into you. Mike was racked up in the hospital for four months, but did he give up? Heck no! He dusted himself off and got right back on that vending machine. Any normal person that fell the way I fell wouldn't be here today. But I'm Crazy Mike. I am here today, and I am going to try what I tried last year, except this time I'll be a little more successful, hopefully. Way to go, Mike. I guess that concussion actually knocked some sense out of you. Okay, time to give this show a sorely needed touch of class. We could take you to a museum or an opera, but you'd only fall asleep and embarrass me. So instead, you're going to meet some graduates of the famous... Whacked Out Charm School for Girls! Here we find Brandy and Debbie. Just a pair of typical nature girls out for a hike in their latex mini dresses and stiletto pumps. Nothing unusual about that. But what is crazy is what's about to happen to them. Let's take a quick quiz. Will they... A. Start making out. B. Get axe murdered. C. Make out and then get axe murdered. Or D. Get caught in quicksand. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's D. Very surprising for such a pair of seasoned hikers. I didn't even think there was such a thing as quicksand. It sure isn't very quick. But it is true, that thing they say. The more you struggle, the harder it is to get out. Just like algebra class. Was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Every responsible adult was soused. I heard a noise up above and thought, what the f***? That's when Dad fell off the roof and onto his truck. His back was thrown out. His mood was unpleasant. His patience was as stretched as his garbage bag full of presents. And I heard him exclaim to brother-in-law Eddie, Someone call a freaking ambulance already! 